Now, we've seen the trannies take some L's. And as we hear every day, um, like, for instance, in Canada, uh, they talk about how transgender people are subjected to violent terrorism on the basis of their uh, identity, their sexual identity. Even though the last person, the last transgender person to be uh, the victim of a homicide in Canada was eight years ago, they finally got what they wanted. And in uh, the UK, a 16-year-old boy who wears a dress was violently murdered and stabbed to death by two fellow teenagers and what they are describing as a hate crime. And they finally got it. They finally have a dead tranny to hoist like a flag for their battle cry and use it to justify everything that they could possibly want in the legislative branches uh, of the UK. They can finally say, look, remember Brianna Gay, the George Floyd of, of transgenders? Well, how do we prevent like this from happening again? A homicide. Someone was stabbed to death in the UK. This literally never happens. Nobody's ever killed in the UK by stabbing. This must be a hate crime. We must do literally everything that we possibly can to stop this sudden, this this surge of violence, the 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 rate, the amount of hate crimes, the amount of transgender women murdered in the UK has gone up infinity percent over the last year. How do we st how do we stop this? This is an unbelievable metric that must be met with the full force of the United Kingdom government, and they are celebrating this murder uh, for being the excuse that it is. Um, here's a description that Carolyn Farrell pointed out as being a bizarre um, description of, of them. Uh, the teacher says, this is a teacher, by the way, losing Brianna has been heartbreaking. She was a creative, witty young lady who was robbed of the chance to overcome her anxieties, robbed of the chance to grow up and robbed of the chance to fulfill her ambitions of training in hair and beauty. Her nails matching with her phone case, her fluffy handbag and coat, the over the knee white socks with a rolled up skirt. The amazing hair extensions and lashes that went out for days. Her creativity and flair for fashion. She was iconic in her look. She had met a, she had a sparkle, and you could never miss her. Once met, never forgotten. The loss of life is awful. A child even worse. But what happened to Brianna's beyond comprehension has changed me as a person and my outlook on life forever. Seeing people in the media talk about her being bullied is hurtful on so many levels. Uh, least of all, how disrespectful this is to Brianna. She was a sharp tongued, and I know as this, as I was on the receiving of it many times. Ew, <laughs> gross, had a young, sharp, strong sense of justice and was not afraid to say what she thought. So Brianna sounds like a fucking menace who went around shit talking everybody at school fucking constantly and also uh, shit talked his teachers constantly and was allowed to get away with it because he was the transgender kid at the school. Uh, that's where I'm getting from this. Um, she had a very close relationship with staff due to the nature of her personalized and bespoke timetable in school. So she had a, uh, had a completely custom, uh, attendance sheet that was unique to them. Um, because probably because they were delinquent. She was not in the main body of school due to her social anxiety. She never alleged any bullying and I would pity the person who had tried to be honest. So we have, so the, the news tried to run with the story that this person was bullied relentlessly and then murdered. I mean, the reality seems to be that the person going by the name Brianna was extremely uh, uh, vocal, willing to tell anyone what was on his mind at any time, including the staff, had to be cable catered to round the clock with a completely customized uh, schedule that nobody else had, and then also complained about social anxiety while being, being apparently fearless in both dress sense style, outward appearance in general, and also their ability to speak and yell at people. And then also they use these um, extremely filtered uh, shots to try and show how, how attractive and passing young Brianna Gay was. And it's just a man in a, in a woman's outfit. By the way, fun fact, I, I was told that this uh, outfit that they're wearing to school is actually not a part of the... Um, the uniform that they have to wear at the school. So not only was this person probably because they're a man and taller than most women, but the, the skirts riding up high. So you could probably see his dingle dongle at the right angle. And, uh, it's not in, not in code. So they had their own uniform as well. Everything around this person's life was devoted to, to, 
uh, ensuring that they were as un uh, unbothered as possible and always got what they wanted. And by the way, the two people, um, the two students, the, the male and female student who uh, stabbed this person, they were found guilty recently. And they've been, they are going to be sentenced to life. The judge has already said that when sentencing comes, they will be sentenced to life in jail. These people that stabbed Brianna Gay are 15 years old. They're going to be tried. They were tried as adults. They were found guilty. In the UK, you don't have a peer, uh, jury of your peers. So the powdered wig judge was the one that overheard everything and will also get to decide sentencing. And the judge already hinted that he would probably give them both life. So um, these two people are going to be getting life in jail. For, um, at the age of 15 uh, for murder. And it is assumed regardless of what the facts are, that this was a hate crime when the reality could have been that uh, this person bullied these two people relentlessly. Cause from what the teacher says, they were very sharp tongue and were, uh, they were simultaneously riddled with social anxiety and also completely unafraid to tell people what's what at any time and were never bullied. So they were at the, t the top of the, the bullying hierarchy apparently. If you are in the UK, you are a fucking retard. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.